mon dieu quoi mon dieu non tout ça que deux people via this very significant platform et alors mais quoi vous don't know this platform is one of the most powerful platform with which you can reach two people c'est le tout mon dieu quoi mon dieu knows this he have high regard for you as a person he have high regard for you and your platform and the people therein so for anybody to believe to himself to think that Monte has no regard for him to hear from him if you are busy today create time for when Monte Quero will come even when you are not there when he finally comes you will get the clip to watch we want somebody that we can talk to ask questions that can take questions from the two people and tell us what he can do better than what is on ground right now if you cannot do this little thing now is it they just say that you can that you'll be able to run to check these things out before we make a we make a wrong decision because that's why Godalo is the man anybody wants in that power to run at those things because the man has everything it takes to run at those things and for you Mr. Mega Comrade you are doing a fantastic job and don't let anybody cower you you are a strong man you are a powerful man with your uh, media we are, we are and we are we appreciate yeah. you. Thank you so much. God bless you. you we have uh, you. our brother. Uh, please go ahead and introduce yourself to the old world, please. Uh, well, good evening, everybody. My name is God's Will Inegbe. I am the director of media and publicity for Senator Monday, Okwebolo Governorship Campaign Organization. And I'm also the legislative aide to the senator on media and publicity. Uh, I greet everybody. I greet our my Bini brothers and sisters. I greet my Akoko Edo, Esako, Owa brothers and sisters. Of course, I greet my Esan people, Esan Lukbewolo. I greet everybody, the good people of Edo State. On our way don't sell salmons. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you can use your language to greet your people. Uh, if you want to, uh, Honorable Goswe, you can use your language. Speak your language to your people. You know, welcome uh, to Situation Room. It's not easy to be here. We want to <laughs> applaud you. Uh, this is a scary platform. Go ahead. Babulu, you okay, so yeah. Oh, yeah. In the one level, Kara, in the Igini, in the Savoka, in the Vocation, a big bay, naked at Rokona, Bona, in the Rivisa, in the Rivi Nigeria, in the Rivi Evoli Bo, my twelve are review, in my home money by Bielly, now Kinley, a God Swilly, oh, we neck when we say, no knee is a central local government, if I may ever Kara, I'm a match, I'm not see going on. Ahume or dig on why one other M. Only program una my sub of Vibo Emuana Babulu Bulu. Mamma ye quen me on look beyond not only program na can actually the Ancoma Mega Comrade Clement Eranomigo Omon at those city Bielly Omon at those city Rehu Mayolo Bulu Bulu. We went now sitting over when now one platform now. Madriga Babulu. I do people, oh yeah, oh yeah. God bless you, my honorable. Uh, Dr. Austin, I see you are trying to come in, but you have to come on the video. Uh, we don't patronize uh, audio contribution through uh, to our platform this way. Please go back, exit, and come on the video. Okay, uh, God bless you, honorable Goswin. Uh, yeah. You welcome to Situation Room. What is going on with the camp, uh, campaign? What is the situation of the campaign? Well, th thank you so much, uh, my great brother. You first and foremost, I want to profoundly appreciate you, and I wanted to put, I wanted to be put in the record of what you are using this platform to do, and for us. That live in Nigeria, for us that live in those states, we are proud of what you are doing. You are an illustrious son of those states, and we deeply appreciate you, your efforts of deepening our democracy, of deepening the rights 
for fair hearing and fair expression of minds and for giving the platform for anyone to express him or, him or herself to the best of himself or her knowledge. Uh, having said that, for us in Senator Monday, Ukbebolo campaign organization, we are doing well, we are doing fine. You know, the truth is that in politics, every, if you have been in the system, I mean the political system, you know that if you want to succeed in the political spectrum, you must have your will or your own strategy of playing your politics. For us in Monday, Okbewolo campaign organization, we don't do copy and paste. And that is one of the quality of a good leader, the ability to unite a house. So as far as we are concerned, the senator has demonstrated that he's a unifier. He's a unifier. That is another good quality for him. And that's the kind of quality we need for the next leader who will lead the state to the place that we all desire the state to be. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Thank you very much. First of all, let me apologize for not being able to hook up since. Maybe I'm analog. I'm not uh, digital enough to be able to know how to operate my phone. I'm walking, I'm on the street. And I have to just uh, pull over now to be able to do some of those. In fact, I couldn't remember my password. I have to do as if I don't know my password. I have to create another one that back to enter. When uh, we are still having network. Right, honourable speaker. So, speaker, we we barely hear you, Mister Speaker. Uh, uh, the other one, you are not hearing me. Are you hearing me now? Uh, the network is wobbling. It's wobbling. But he is the leader of that group known as G14. Just as he said before, the senator wanted to be on this program because he was the one that announced on this program last week that he was going to appear today. We are not asking but, you. Uh, okay, yes. Brother, you are yes, the sir. media director. Have you that downloaded correct, the Facebook and YouTube on Senator Modeo Pueblo cell phone? Yes or no? Of course. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That has been done, okay. sir. So that will not be an excuse. Where will you make no. him available? There are those people in diaspora. Mm. They are not happy. I have to be mm. honest. I thank mm. God they respect me. I'm getting a lot of insults. It's okay. That is a insult. It's a part of a policy. But mm. where would Senator Modukbeburu be able to speak to a do home and abroad on situation room? Or are you people afraid of situation room? <laughs> not not at all you know uh, as you are just saying it i'm laughing because as i said before uh there's nothing yet to be afraid of thank you uh, of that comrades not to talk now not be mad that they talk okay thank not you. to talk not to talk and so but what i can tell you is that once as uh, the senator told me before as i said before that once he's through with his meetings at the villa he's going to give you a call then he will call you both of you we make that arrangement when he will appear on the platform, which you will now have to come and inform the people on the platform. So, oh, thank you, sir. God bless you. Go ahead, uh, go ahead, uh, former speaker, uh, Doro. Thank you, uh, thank you very much. Uh, once again, I need to apologize. I, I was out, my network took me out, so I didn't uh, quite, but I heard what the last speaker said from Esther. For anybody to think that Senator is Senator Federal Republic of Nigeria is afraid of the press. Uh, well, I don't know how to imagine that. Uh, he's not afraid of press, and uh, he they said a man that uh, is ready for action will always be prepared for what brings about that action. Senator Mondo Pueblo is ready to be governor of those states. Unfortunately, when you check the lot, he's one of he's the best among them. He will totally talk to the people. As we are talking now, if the cafe has not started, if you check the INEC guideline, 
anything you are doing now, you have to be skeptical so that you don't uh, fall into the hands of uh, ethnic disqualification. When the when we are ready, when the campaign organization is fully set up and the drum for campaign are on, you will see Senator Mondeoper. You will know that it is not a man who, who who goes to the police station who report a case to the police station that will get judgment at the end of the day. He is fully equipped with what it takes to bring about an Eldorado in Edo State. So he cannot do that while in the boardroom alone. He must be able to canvass his points. He must be able to uh, canvass his position, drive them to a point where Suko will be given to Edo. I want to clear that out. He's not afraid of press. And at the appropriate time, even today, if need be, he might even address press when it's coming out from uh, Arthur Rock. As we speak, he's there. So uh, for anybody to think that the, the, the excuse give him is flimsy. It's not, a, it's not a flimsy excuse. It's a very cogent excuse. And there is nobody here who will be called by the president who will not drop every other thing that he's doing and honor the president call. president is the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And the man who wants to be governor in a do state and in the party where the governor is the leader. If he is called, he will not say no. I want to address press. Therefore, let me not address to the president. No. He will honor the president first. And that is why he, I'm not even happy that he told me to go out of uh, out of the entourage. I needed to be here to prove because he knows that I have this integrity in the eyes of the people. To be able to tell the people that, yes, he's in the Asso Rock. Whoever has his number now should try to call him. You can't get him because he's in the Asso Rock. He's attending to the president. As soon as he's out. If we, we are even happy that we have a, a senator who have access to the governor, who can bring a lot of dividend of democracy to the people when he eventually become governor. Because what you need as the governor is contact. And once you have them, everything you need, you bring it to the doorstep of the people. And the people will be happy at the end of the day. Let it let us take it clear that Senator Mondio Pueblo is not afraid of press because. He who seek equity must go with clean hands. And when you are roasting a yam for a blind man, it's advisable you whistle. He is already aware that he's going to roast the yam for the people of those days to eat. So he must he must talk for them to hear so that the blind ones among them will not know, think that he's already eating their yam. So we should, we should take this for granted. Okay, let's pick some call. Uh, uh, Honorable Goswe, let's pick some call before we go further on that one. Hello, Lotus. caller, your name and where are you calling from? Oh, this is John Bosco from Atlanta, Georgia again. Okay, John Boss. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I want to like, um, I wonder what the legal team is saying is that first of all, the problem was the GDP for a very long time before he moved to the PC. Like the other caller said, you had issues in PDP with uh, Senator Odia and other APC, PDP members walked to, to join the PC to be able to make him win that election. And second, I want to ask that uh, media team member that said that the Pueblo, what did he do with the party he collected for federal government? No, we are not on a palliative right now. We are discussing about. We are part of the discussion about the first of all, he said that the palliative that he has to the so-called Pueblo is talking no, no. about. Okay, we heard you. We are no, we are not. He said he promised that he was going to be here today. That so whatever the presidency has called, he would have told the presidency first before today that he has an appointment to talk to a No, 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 no. You know, of course, he cannot cancel that. You know that. But, uh, but the, the last time he told me that he had issues, he had a meeting. Okay. That he was going to admit it. Today again, he has another Why meeting. can't we give him the, the last opportunity? Let us... Let, the uh, federal road are talking about it, the whole thing meeting now. And uh, Bahari was there for eight years. They didn't fix that federal road. But they were blaming on Obateki. Obateki didn't fix federal road. But now they are not looking for what they wish to campaign against Obateki. That's why they are pushing to fix federal road in four months. To go policy war. Okay. No. All right, let, let's pick another call. You are two minutes already, my brother. Let me answer Thank another you. person. Thank, Thank you. you. All right.
uh, let me just go ahead and pick another call. Hello, caller. Your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Sorry, unfortunately, your line is not good. Hello, your name and where are you calling? So let me quickly hold this for now. Uh, speaker Edoro, God bless you. Uh, this is not, uh, nobody, I'm not saying is afraid of the media. This is a, a do, this is the biggest anti corruption, anti flaw political platform in the whole country. This is not channel news where a do people who are going to vote for him, who is going to govern, we have opportunity to call him and uh, ask questions. He need to be connected to a do home and abroad in diaspora and uh, in Edo. So what we are saying is that, is he afraid of speaking to Edo people who he want to be their leader, to be the chief executive? That is what we mean. We are not talking of the whole media. He, I saw his video in Channel News, on Arise News. So going to Arise News is not servicing us. Arise News are not going to go vote. So Channel News are not going to go vote. Can you, or both of you, you are the director of the media, can you all tell us today, uh, Speaker, we respect you a lot. You are a man that uh, do people honor. Can you tell us that Senator Modu will not fail for the third time to come to PFN Situation Room? This is where we want him now. Thank you very much. I forgot. Is this, uh, the Senator is not the one failing. The circumstances surrounding this period is the one that has failed. Reason being that you, this forum speaking to Edo is very, very important, but respects demand that as soon as the president calls him, he must honor the president. Because he is busy, the president is busier. We understand. I I know that some persons are not happy because the last time he was able to tell the people that his phone had issues, he could not, he was available, but network did not allow him. You can see what happened to me today. I have to do extra things to make sure that I'm able to hook up. Okay. Even when he, he assigned me to sit in for him here. He is willing to talk to a do people, very important, more than any other per person. But the tools with which he's going to work for the betterment of a do is in the hands of the presidency. Federal parastatals, federal roles are within the principles of federal government. And as a governor, you can see what we have had in the opposition so far. We had a senator who could not, who have been there, who, who did eight years, but because of opposition arrangement, he was able to bring little or nothing to the people of Edo Central. You can see a senator who has not done more than six months. A call, a motion, as said or deposited by uh, Honorable Inegbe, the president ordered the minister of war because the west of Monday they are like magic touch he hardly is a man who do not talk anyhow if he decided to say something calculatively you will discover that everybody that's around him honors him reason being that the quietness of a tiger mustn't be mistaken for foolishness most times it's a calculated attempt to achieve an accurate result okay so most okay. fellow west are okay. boom when they are deposited he corners you he's a bot player he corners you when he corners you and deposit it it will become like the vital color it will become offers that cannot be rejected so to me for some of us who have work closely with Monday in the recent time, we have discovered that for the first time we are having a dope person who is a true son 
who believe in the betterment of Edo, who is worried day in, day out on how Edo is going to do well. Monday, as I spoke talk to you, does not even sleep. By four o'clock yesterday, I was already going home. He was still calling me that there are issues that we, we must come and finalize the construction of this road. That the minister says something, we must go and clarify it. You won't believe me. We went to the uh, the minister's house around uh, four four years. It is the decision we the discussion we had yesterday that brought about the call of Mr. President today. Positiveness of Monjo Pebolo Senator is a thing that we must respect. And if you want it to come to the to the floor like a pirate, I can bet you you won't get that one from Monday. Monday is a calculator. And by the time he's ready, he deposits, he talks not too much, but he's concise to the point. I still want to beg everybody who expected Monday to talk today. It's not as if it, he, will not, he may not even talk today. He can just come to Arthur Rogner and join us. But as we speak, for the betterment of Edo, he is called to the presidency. And he must honor that call. That is why. In fact, I had what I wanted to tell the president today. You know, I'm a member of the G14. I wanted to remind him because he promised that he was good by now, he was going to give us a job. I wanted to remind him, okay, you promised us a job, you are not giving it to us up to now. But when Monday, again, for a two state two, when he nominated me to go and represent him, I said, no, you have what to tell President, they look, what you want, your personal issue must not override the generality of a two people. Go and tell them for a two sake. That thing melt me down. I, I, I looked at him again. So do you see how people like this? So if people know him, if it is possible to pierce into his heart and know what he thinks every day, everybody that is thinking, talking to this platform, we continue to hear Monday. This is the fact that we're having a conscious person who wants to be governor in the do. We need to encourage him. We need to respect him. We need to, to, to teach him how to be responsive to the people and i can assure you that at the end of the day everybody we have cause to rejoice that monday Pavolo is the choosing one from apc and is the choosing one to be governor of federal state all right uh, uh honorable gosu you have anything to say before we pick another call uh, uh, yeah well, the right honorable speaker of a two state house of assembly the leader of the g40 have said it all my great mega but one thing i would just say just as the speaker said for most of us that are expecting uh, our uh, the senator to appear on this platform i just want them to to exercise some little restraints and also to help to manage their hope manage their hope in the sense that the senator is not a talkative. He's not a talker. He's, he's a man with few words. But the words, his words are powerful. Whatever he says is what he's committed to. His words are his bonds. So I know he will surely appear on this pl platform. That is certain. But I just also want to keep our hope and manage our expectation that is not an someone that have the oratory prowess you know like our highly respected comrade adams or shomole you know who can talk and you know keep us to the edge of our seats while talking senator monde okpewolo aka akpakomiza is a man of few words but whatever he says or whatever commitment he makes he ensures that is fulfilling and that's the reason why those who knows him very well want him to become the next governor of a dose it's zero zero huh? two zero over two for <laughs> the over here 
<laughs> the mega <laughs> no if we got us some issue beyond his control that the that other people are just explained you know that's right when we are here here what is going to tell you this platform he will fulfill it hello caller hello mega yeah your name and where are you calling from that means i recall from uk from uk okay go ahead Yes, first and foremost, I want to make it clear that the table is not the calculator. As a matter of fact, it is not the calculator as well. At the moment, we that are with the PDP decided to tune in and give him audience. And he has not recognized you alone as a platform. No, it's not it's not about me. Wait, wait, let me correct you people. We have it by thousand four hundred people here. Those two thousand four hundred people is not around me. I'm no more than them. Don't refer it to me. So I'm just a host. Okay. Fair, fair, fair enough. But what I just want to say is that the man that you are giving opportunity on your platform to come and speak to the people is not available. Are we too small for him? Is your platform too small for him? So on that day, come September twenty first, nobody will be available for him. It's as simple as that. All right. All right. Thank you. Fully, the father are about to die before a son. A son. So, whoever is ready to uh, contest for governorship of Edo State must know that he must talk to the people. As the, the Trump priority done the first time, he contested for Senate and defeated somebody who was uh, a second timer in the Senate, who was contesting for the third time. With all the money, the love, with the love he has for the people and the people have for him, he won overwhelmingly. So, all this that we are talking about now in Edo, as Edo people, who they prepare? We are here talking about the, the, the absence of uh, somebody, somebody because he has sympathy for Aspen Godalo, who we have not seen, who is an Ishama, who I don't even know, who have not, we have not seen, who are the chairman of Sterling Park, I have no branch in this land. Who did not support that and a group and we are looking for money to create security to solve security problem in the do state? They are coming here to talk like a parrot. Is that what they don't need now? Has the father cannot spoken enough? Is that what we need? We need actions. We don't need MOU anymore. We don't need bankers. Bankers are coming to deceive the people. We don't need them. Any people, people that have been taught how to fraud, they will deceive you. You will not know it. So, Senator Modiopevolo, I'm happy from the statistics we are gathering. He is the favorite candidate as we speak right now. And when the campaign starts, you will see the overlay, overwhelm victory in September. So, we are united in this front and we are ready to take a do to where it should be. Modiopevolo, to not to talk to a do people via this very significant platform. Iranomigo, if you don't know, this platform is one of the most powerful platforms with which you can reach your door people. Senator Mondo Pebolo knows this. He has high regard for you as a person. He has high regard for you and your platform and the people therein. So for anybody to believe to himself, to think that Mondo has no regard for him, to hear from him, if you are busy today, create time for when Mondo Pebolo will come. Even when you are not there, when he finally comes. You will get the clip to watch. So why are we in haste? Are we going to be more Catholic than the Pope? Because uh, things are difficult. Are we going to go to the mortuary, by, uh, go to the buried ground by ourselves and get ourselves buried? We won't do that. We are ready for this. And by the grace of God, when you, when you hear from his meekness, deep humility, high sense of regard, you will know that a God sent has come. Power! come from God. If you see the movement as the, of Senator Modiokwewo, you will know that Modiokwewo is God sent. In the primary of APC, everybody least expected Modiokwewo will become the candidate. But before you know it, he's silently with his uh, powerful uh, negotiating power, got the ticket of the party and the people voted for him. He knows how to do it. Don't underrate him. The more you underrate uh, Modiokwewo, the more you are digging a political grave around yourself. So, I have been mandated by Senator Modiokwewo to tell this platform 
or the people of Edo State via this platform that he regrets not coming here today. It was not his making. That he must create time, no matter what it costs him, to not to reach these people, to continue to reach it. Yeah, I think we're having a network breakdown. This is David from Atlanta. Okay, go ahead. Brother. Yes. These your people that are calling and condemning this man. I don't, I'm not from Edo State. I don't know any of them. But these people calling and condemning these people. Mm -hmm. They are the PDP in the other side. Okay, where they is it? Wait, they, wait, they, stop, they not, stop, 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 stop. Where are the APC? Where are they? Do they stop them listen, not to call? Listen, listen, listen. Let me finish now. You know no, we got to be honest. Agree. No, you can't just throw something. You don't know, you know, you know, you know, agree. No, let wait, me, wait, let, let me owe you. Let me see. No, let me I won't let you, I won't let you say that. This is a PC man, right here, right now. We have advertised, hold on, we have advertised Modupe Wuru better than any other person. Two I of us are honorable. Not doing the right thing. That's true, that's true, sir. That's so, true. what are you talking? No, I will not allow that. I will not allow that to fly. I say PDP are calling. No. Before I swear you go down to call it, nobody advertising. True or false? When he said he was coming, he came. I did not advertise him. I did not post his poster. From there, he captured a lot of people's mind. Let me be honest. We have to be honest. I'm speaking from independent mind. If I do not know Senator Mondo today, if I do not know him, I know the kind of man that he is. I will be, I will be like them. But I got to be honest. So when people say, oh, they are PDP, they are PDP. Listen, excuse always given when you fail. When you win, nobody give excuse. As I'm a PC, when I leave this show, it is my duty to tell anybody outside this show, I will talk to them, my party, this is how it's supposed to be. But right now, I'm an independent. So I don't want people to be saying a PDP are calling, PDP are calling. Where are the APC? Do they not have cell phone? Honorable, do you, I don't think what I'm saying if it makes sense or not. <laughs> of, of, of course, you, your point is valid. Uh, the great mega coverage. You know, the, the, yeah, your point is valid. I, we, the truth is, as you rightly said, is this. You know, uh, you've created a platform whereby everybody have equal treatment fairness to you and uh, we deeply appreciate everyone that have called in even those that criticize see criticism for me as someone who is actively involved in politics i see criticism as if as a pms as we call it in nigeria that you put into your vehicle to fuel your vehicle to get to your destination. If you take good criticism in good faith, you use them as a raw material to work so that you can get the best out of what you do in life. Hello. Yeah, hello, Mr. Comrade. Yes. Uh, good, good evening. I am calling from UK, please. Okay. Uh, I want to thank I want to thank you for the program today. Yeah. Um, I also want to thank my brother, uh, Mr. Goswin, for making this available, you know. Uh, but um, there are some observations I want to make with, with regards to what uh, my brother has been saying. You know, he has been mentioning boroughs uh, frequently that uh, Abako Mida did on a, or as a personal project before he came into politics. That is a good, it's, it's a good one. I have nothing against that. You know, but I also watched uh, the, other, uh, the other PDP man, Igudalo, that said that he also gave scholarship to his people on a personal level. So everybody has done something on a personal level. What we are saying now is, let Atacomida come on the platform. Let us ask him his plans for education, his plans for healthcare, his plans for for different aspects of, the, of our economy. That's what we want to know. Yes, everybody has done something on a personal level. One said he did scholarship, one said he did borrow. That's fine. Nothing about, nothing wrong about that. But as I come that he has to come to the platform okay. to tell, uh, to tell uh, how he's going to achieve improved education. 
improve healthcare, improve the civil service, so how is going to fund infrastructure? That's what the people want to ask him. So, and Mr. Agosti cannot answer those questions because he is not running. That's so that is my... Okay. okay, thank you. I let me quickly let me let me let uh, let me let Honorable right. respond to you just three minutes, then I will go ahead and and uh, so go ahead, Honorable. Yes, yes, I Mr. want Mr. to appreciate th thank you so much. Yes, the last caller, thank you so much. He made a valid point. Of course, the senator is soliciting votes from a do people, and the do people has the right to ask the senator certain questions regarding is agenda for the states i totally agree and that's why i'll be appealing that by the grace of god we are going to ensure that the senator appears on this platform so that opportunity will be given to everyone to ask the question they want to ask and the senator will not respond to those questions they have the right to find out from the senator to know what is his plan it's, i mean sectorial plans as far as the state is concerned Exactly. Thank you very much, sir. It was uh, that, that's the point because like, I just felt you were focusing too much. So, on, uh, I, so, so I agree. I, I, I agree with the last caller. Mm. Call uh, allow we it. understand that everybody, everybody, everybody mm. can be a grand topic, but mm. we we need it to come. We need it to come. Please. Yes. Okay, let me yes, end. He it will. He will. He will. Mm. Uh, he will. I have to be honest sir. with you. What are we say in the in the mm. private? When we are talking privately, I want to say in the public. I will tell you mm. what now. Before our senator, Senator Modi Okbevoro, a.k.a. Yes. Bakomiza. When yes. we come to this show, the director of the media is here now. I have given mm. him two days. They have to pay him. Because <laughs> when things are, very, are free, you don't value it. If they book ITV, they book channel, they book uh, Arras News and pay for it, they would don't want to lose their money. So because it was free, I did it out of my will, and uh, we have lost a lot of my fans. Have lost hours that Senator Modu Kweburu cannot pay for. I myself, I lost almost five hundred dollars on Sat on Saturday. Um, uh, yes, on Saturday when I did not go to work, I lost five twelve hours. So today, thank God, I told him I was not going to call him at work. And I'm not ready to lose any other money. So I want you to relay this information to us. That is owing, is owing us. So he's owing us. Most especially he's owing me. So uh, I want the old world to know if you did not see Senator Modupewuru yet, then you know that he has not paid. That is why he's not here. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <Mega comrade. laughs> no, no, sir. No, that's sir. Mm. In, 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 okay, once again, I want to say thank you. You are an illustrious son of a do state, and we are all proud of you. And thank everyone that is participating in this platform, this is an Edo platform which we are all proud of. And I and I said that by the grace of God, on my own, we ensure that the senator appears on this platform to come and talk to the Edo people that he wants to govern. He will do that and let the people also have the opportunity to ask him some questions, which is their evil right to do, sir. So whoever that is angry, I still want to appeal that they should exercise some restraints and uh, give the benefit of doubt to Senator Modupe, we look at Pakomiza. At the time when we, we appear, definitely, I believe that some of us will be happy with him, the way he will respond to some of those uh, questions. Even though he might not be respond to some of those questions uh, so, uh, uh, you know, uh, verbosely, I mean, long, in a long form, but the premium of the questions would surely be it will be tackled and justice will be done and at the end of the day everyone will certainly be satisfied with him 